All right, we got Big Mike up here. He's gonna throw the net on some peanut bunker we saw. And when they're here shallow like this, you can just run right up and throw the net. I don't know if you can see him breaking on surface right there. Get ready to put it in neutral, Tommy. They're just popping. These are small bunker, shallow, so they're pretty easy to get. We're gonna keep the boat in gear. Actually, keep it in gear this speed. Oh boy. Yeah. We might net some, uh, huh? Something got to them. They're all jumping to the left here. We gotta wait because something just broke them up. That's funny. I can see how dark they are. What's it look like on the screen? <laughs> it's a cloud. They're all behind they get us. Ready right in front. I think the bluefish are busting them up. See, look right in front of you. They're right in front of us. Ready, Mike? They're right in front okay, of us. Let her rip. Two on this side. Interesting. Oh, look at that screen. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It's gotta be floating. Nine feet, you can pull it in. I've seen them sparkling. There's some in there. That's good. That's a good start. At home, nothing would play. Everything would play. All right, we're getting ready to go out. We're going to fish a spot we've never fished before. We're going to drift eels and some peanut bunker we caught. We're just going to show you the whole day. We don't know if we're going to catch anything at all. So we're going to show you whether we zero or whether we're heroes. So we'll just see, right? We'll see. Here we go. We netted some uh, bait a little earlier. Big Mike threw the net on some peanut bunker. These aren't huge by any means. Let's see. So we got some eels, some peanut bunker, and we'll see. I'd say it's peanut bunker jelly time, ladies and gentlemen. Peanut bunker Let's jelly see what we time. Could do. Peanut bunker. pictures of the Statue of Liberty. It's, it's so we're just parked. <laughs> just parked right in front of her. 
Everybody wave. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Take old school photos. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. It goes in and half a turn to the right. Uh, there's the there's what it has to be. You got me some slacks, been going quick. Yep. Ready? All right, so now with the rod and free spool, you can put the rod and rod holder. Here you go. Thank you. How much do you want to let out? Go like, go like uh, 15 feet. Give it a twist. You got the patented twist. Then you catch it on the twist, right? Yeah. No, 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 on the loop, on the loop. On the loop. Yeah. All the way at the end of it. There you go. The loop sticks out, it'll wrap around. Good. That's it, and that's it. And just Peter? kind of swing it out. Pull it in. You kind of like, that's okay, but you'll kind of like let it go and swing it out. Okay, when it is? Yeah, so it doesn't spin around and just yeah. twist, but that's good. Just keep a little, put in a rod and get the next one. Next? Yeah. Where were you hooking these eels, Mikey? Both lips. Yeah. Yeah? Nope. Maybe. Another? Thank you, sir. May I have another? You could probably stop that far one just because we're in tighter quarters in this harbor. I better kiss. Yeah, sure. He's got an eel ready, but we need a hook. Are you working on a hook oh there, Mike? Oh, yes. All right. Cool. I had a couple of hooks up here. I threw up here. Where'd they go? Here's another hook. Probably good right there. And we'll do two floats out the back. Speed are we at? 1.8. Ready? Okay. All right, Eric, you got one more for that here. This one's ready to go. Rick. This side? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? Let's put up in the smaller hook. We got somewhat smaller. Let's do floats with a bunker up with these. I got one with a small hook here. Got me Neil? I sure do. Not a boy. Show me the head. Holding the head. Okay. Is, is, is it close? Like, America. 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 Oh. Hello. fish on it. There's a fish on it. <laughs> so I don't creek the channel is this one to our right. So we're, we're on a flat area between two channels. Fucking perfect. That's where they want See to it? be. Channel there, channel here. Yeah. Structure, structure. All kinds of good stuff to move that water. 20 feet. Looks good. Looks promising. I'm just waiting for the 70 mile an hour winds to kick up. Yeah, sure. 
So how many feet you put behind that board? Uh, about 15, 20 feet. Put behind her. No weight at all, right? No weight at all. You can see it's pulling out to the side right there. You know, as I let it out, I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep some tension to it so it works its way out. That way we don't get tangled up to the one that's in the back over there. That's a good thing. Controlling at what, maybe what, two? 2.0, exactly two. There we go. Ooh. You saw that, right? Don't be a blue fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, crank, 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 crank. He's got. Rod tip up and high, nice high with the rod tip. What's that? Tip up. There you go. All right, guys, we're out here by the Statue of Liberty we're in New York Harbor. Never tried this before up here, never fished up here before, so we're going to do our thing. We're pulling some eels with our striker stealth rods. We got our secret weapon, Mike. Yep. Homeland Security helicopters. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's the Statue of Liberty. You see her? We're just pulling, pulling planter boards with some eels and some bunker we caught. See what's what? We already caught a handful of bluefish. Some fish coming up under the boat. And there's all kinds of current rips in here, and I mean it's just craziness. These soft rods are so so important. It's just even with no waves in here, you can see how much we're getting ripped all over the place with different currents, and all the different tugboats and barges that are out here. So hopefully, we'll catch catch the man in the striped suit pretty soon. If you use a stiff rod for this, you'd be tripping the boards left and right. It. You know you want barges all where the tires were, right? All the tires. And we know where the tires are. So when they put the new tires on, we know where the, oh the, my gosh. We know where the old ones go. Oh my gosh. Dude. Hey boss, I'm getting ready to swap out the tires. What do we do with the old ones? I'm not what sure you, if those are Cheerios or tires. What do you think you do with the old ones? Right to the bottom. Yeah, he's got a bluefish on there. Wrong species, wrong flavor. Little guy that made a mistake. That's okay. They like Cheerios. Cool. That's a Firestone, guaranteed. Fish to fish. float Mike? We did. We lost our TOS float, yep. Broke the swivel. Rust? You think? You don't rinse anything, man. Well, like I said, if we catch stripers or not, we're putting it on video, so we're just going to show you the 
good, the bad, and the ugly. By the end of the day, we'll be showing you some sloth and stripes. But... Thank you, sir. I'm trying to think positive. All right, Mike, show us how we set a TOS float. All right, so if you take a look at the water over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got the eel that's floating out there. So I'm going to load about 15, 20 feet out. We have our eel that's on the end there. I'm going to take my float with it in line. It's going to be facing the pole. I'll take the line, make a little opener. With the giant hands. I know, it's not easy. <laughs> Just twist it up a couple times. Fish blowing up on that board. Fish blowing up on that. Whoa, chasing the. Look at it. It's the front line? Yeah, someone in this. Did you get it, Eric? Sorry about that. Go That's ahead. okay. That's okay. Oh no, he's on. Ooh! Board just disappeared. And then to finish it, we're going to push the opposite end over here. Once again, remember this is going to face towards the fishing pole. We're just going to push it in there, tighten it up, and she's good to go. That's it, man. Cracker, celebrating with a cracker. Celebrate with some crackers here. Somebody feed him. Love the crackers. Somebody feed him a cracker. Somebody feed him a cracker. Love the crackers. The cracker coming in hot, buddy. Cracker, complimentary cracker. Cracker me. <laughs> He's been cracked. <laughs> this is a fish we were marking. This fish exactly. That's what that was. This boy, that float just got over it. Fish. He was. Did he take line that far out? Is that why he was that far out? Yeah, he was out there. So he's taking drag the whole time. Do we notice it, Johnny, or is did you? I just turned around and I grabbed it. I saw oh, okay. It. I, I turned around and that float was him. that float was in Brooklyn. <laughs> was the clicker on or no? How did, you go? How did I miss this? Uh, <laughs> you need to keep involved Where was I? There. I Eric, why don't you move that board that rod forward so he can bring it to the front over here? So bring it to that side like you're doing. Look out, Max. Bluefish, oh. bluefish. Bluefish. Alright, Just walk back to me. Yeah. How are we catching all these bluefish with no wire? I don't know, man. They haven't lost one yet. That's precision. <laughs> That's precision. Alright, so here's our eel rig. It's just a barrel swivel with a sliding two ounce weight, a couple beads above it. Kind of a short leader. I'm trying to drift these eels down in the, into the rocks and stuff. Current on the bottom, you know, structure on the bottom and just drifting through them right now. Drop them on the bottom. Good, Mike. Catch fish. Good luck. Everybody knows you did it. Now you gotta pay. <laughs> <laughs> this is your penance. You and Max. He's guilty too. Wait, wait, wait. What do they do? I need a pipe. Yeah. Good. Good luck, Mike. Well. There you go, guys. We're wrapping it up. I told you I was going to show you what happened from getting to them, whether we hero or zero it. We done zeroed it. Well, we tried, man. That's right. But we, we gave, gave it. Everything we had. It's only a matter of time before they come here and they're hidden. So if you're not out here trying, you ain't going to catch nothing. Yet. That's right. And, you know, we were just talking about it earlier. You know, it's it's really hard to go to new places. It's kind of hard to justify it when you're on fish in certain spots that you're familiar with, right? But nothing feels better than going to a spot you've never been before and wiping up and catching some nice big fish so this is what it is you know you gotta try you gotta try you gotta try leave it, leave it. leave that comfort zone go try well at least we got the fish with this behind us yeah i mean come on some good more people could you ask for? more important some good people some good people good friends good times good times good times those crackers weren't bad either those crackers were <laughs> crackers weren't bad either <laughs>
He pulled up a full net full of jellyfish that didn't even slide through the net. No peanut butter popcorn jellyfish? How did you not make that one? When I had the video camera out in the <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter bunker and jellyfish. He was singing the peanut peanut bunker story at the song and everything. Literally in one net, you had peanut bunker and jellyfish. <laughs> See, we miss you, Eric. When you're not here, <laughs> I we, bring we missed the table. you. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> They're all taking pictures of Eric dancing. <laughs> <laughs> We're I'm taking pictures you. of you, taking pictures of me. Oh, Max, wait. <laughs> Where's he at, Max? <laughs> wait, Max. Max, you're on camera. <laughs> What's up, Max? <laughs> He's been keeping him perky. You're the highlight. Oh, you're the, the one highlight. the only juggalite. Look at him. The sexy animal. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Legend. Perfect. He's letting her turn with us. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. We're photo bombing all these sea sightseeing boats. <laughs> yes. We're between you and the statue. Team old school. That's it. <laughs>